Well, Adam, a lack of snow has canceled the races before twice in the past five years, but organizers say the conditions this weekend are perfect and they think they may have had a little help from above. Isabella Cottrell of Gilmanton crosses the finish line in her first event racing more than one dog. I was really nervous before and when we went it was just so fast and I was just like, oh, okay. The 10 year old isn't the youngest at the event, proving it's never too early to get started in the sport. Isabella recovered from a fall and finished strong, but will she race with three dogs next year? I don't know. I don't know. A little fast? <laughs> yeah. Mushers travel to compete in the event from all across the country and Canada. There's no losing in this, this sport. I mean, when you're, you train these dogs and, and they cart you around the trail and take care of you and all that. Doug Butler is a farmer from Vermont. He says his dogs are like his babies. Their love for Butler is clear. Turn the music on. As they steal a dance together before the race. Doesn't matter if it's 20 below or raining out. They got to be fed. They got to be cleaned. This year is taking on a special meaning for those who've been heavily involved in the event in the past. It's being run in honor of the late Keith Breyer, who died last year. He was always our local favorite. You know, he was brought up in sled dog racing all his life you know, with his father winning here three times and, and Keith had won here twice. Monday will be the one year anniversary of Breyer's death. His family and friends are looking to keep his memory alive through the race and a scholarship. It's all about Keith and I think up there he was the one that gave us the snow. The Keith Breyer Memorial Scholarship will help seniors at Moultonboro Academy where his daughter is a teacher. The races continue tomorrow. Live in studio, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.